Mac Mac Sai presents Making Nitric Acid Without a Condenser. What we're going to need today is a 250 milliliter flask, about 37 or 38 milliliters of water, 18 milliliters of 30% hydrogen peroxide, 75 milliliters of concentrated hydrochloric acid, 25.5 grams of copper, and 60 grams of a nitrate salt. This can be potassium nitrate, ammonium nitrate, or sodium nitrate. You will also need this setup. It's a rubber stopper for the flask, an angled glass tube, a piece of rubber tubing, and a 90 degree piece of glass tubing to go into the mini flask. This mini flask will be collecting the nitric acid and will be holding the hydrogen peroxide. I'm gonna go get my gloves on. That was stupid. First start off by filling a jar that will fit your mini flask with ice. Fill it with ice! 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 And I guess a little water. A setup like this is what you're looking for. The stopper glass rubber glass setup that I showed you earlier should be connected to the flask and the glass 90 degree tube should be going into the mini flask. First add the 60 grams of your nitrate salt. Next Add your water and dissolve it. Next, add the copper. Mix it a little bit. Do it! Now add the 19 milliliters of hydrogen peroxide. Set up your apparatus and add the hydrochloric acid. Finally, put the mixture on a stir plate so that all the material can mix. Okay, so I just ended up heating the mixture because just stirring it didn't produce any nitrogen dioxide gas. As a general rule of thumb, as long as the larger flask on the hot plate is producing the brown nitrogen dioxide gas, then keep the reaction going. When the gas above the big flask is no longer brown, then the reaction is over and you can pull out the tube from the test tube. So now no more brown gas is evolving, and if I evaporated it anymore, it just add hydrogen chloride gas. So I'm gonna shut down the apparatus. The concentration of your nitric acid will vary depending on how long you let the nitrogen dioxide bubble into the hydrogen peroxide, or how much hydrogen peroxide you use or, yeah, that's about it. Um, so, anyway, I think we got about 35 milliliters, I'm not sure. Uh, but here we're going to test the reactivity of my nitric acid that I made with some copper powder. Uh, this isn't all of it, this is only like 15 milliliters of it. As you can see, the nitrogen dioxide gas evolved through the reaction of oh, nitric acid and copper powder. It was a success. If we look below, we can see the yeah, totally green color of the 
copper nitrate. So I would definitely suggest using this as a easy way of making nitric acid if you don't have a condenser. So goodbye and stay safe. Let me just put this. Oh my!